This next box card assembly video is for the Scarecrow box card. The Scarecrow box card is from a new set called the Sweater Weather box card set on svgcuts.com. It came with some elements that I didn't really particularly want for Halloween because technically it's not, the set is not Halloween. Um, it's sweater weather fall, I guess. Um, it has uh, a couple of cards that are more for Thanksgiving. So I picked out two cards and this is the first one that I picked out that uh, I wanted for my Halloween. And I wanted this one because it's, you know, it's a scarecrow, it's it's a Halloween type of a, a, a card. Um, and so on SVG Cuts, she embossed plain paper. I don't have the embossed paper that, or the embossing folder that she has. So I just, I just use pattern and it's basically the same kind of a thing. Uh, it, her pattern or her embossing folder were like leaves and so that's what this is and then on the uh it's got like a a band and uh she used uh like uh, sunflowers and so that's what i used and, and there's also a sunflower and then I, I just think this is such a cute little card it's got like the little bandana and when when it's sitting on the table it's going to be like this so it's going to be folded and when it's folded in the car or in the envelope, it's going to be folded like that. But um, and then here's the side. It's got like little straw hair and in the back. And on here is where you would put your message. And then here's like a button. And I didn't really know where else to put the button, <laughs> so I just put it there. Um, and then it looks like this from the side. So I, I just thought this was a cute card, and so. Uh, and I don't know if I just mentioned, <laughs> I probably did, I'm getting tired. Um, the patterns are from designbundles.net and uh, and sa same with the pattern for the button. So let's get started making this card. Okay, and so as usual, these are my tools that I'm gonna be using. I have my glue for obvious reasons and my Zots for the button and I have my double stick tape for the envelope and the scissors to cut it with. Okay, these are all of my pieces that I'm going to be working with. I uh, didn't do any prep on this other than the inking, which I did on, on these pieces, but I didn't, I didn't go like crazy with it because I didn't want it to be as crazy as the haunted house. I just wanted it to be very subtle and you probably can't even see it at all, but it's it's there. I can see some orange in here and in here and here and and every, every you know, sporadically, <laughs> I can see it. So this uh, was supposed to be the same color as this, but I decided, and it was a executive decision to make them different because I thought it would be weird putting this on something that's the same exact color. So I just decided to use the craft paper. Um, and so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move everything aside and focus on the things that I'm gonna be gluing right this minute. So there are going to be some things that I'm gonna need the fine tip with, but. I'm just going to be very careful not to get too much glue on it. Instead, I'm just going to use this tip. I just find it easier to, to use the same tip uh, throughout the whole thing instead of having to keep changing it. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to try to get this centered. But it doesn't really matter because it's going to be covered with hair anyway. I'm going to put this on the bottom here. And when I say hair, I mean this hair. <laughs> 
So I had to wait to start recording because there were some people screaming outside my bedroom window. <laughs> and that would have made it a little difficult. Plus, then, or before that, there were sirens. <laughs> Never a dull moment. And these are just going to go on centered. And the brown one, I'm going to attach, uh, I'm gonna attach this, the face to the brown piece first, and then I'll attach the brown piece to this. I'm gonna try and be careful not to add too much glue so it doesn't come out everywhere. And I also have to make sure that the edges are all lined up. Because the idea is to see the brown through the these holes and not around the outer edges. So as long as I can't see this color on this side, then it should be fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that on. And centered is just fine. It doesn't have to be uh, high or low. The, it's gonna be covered with uh, straw hair and then there's also going to be a, a bandana down below here I'll put that on now and the, uh, the bandana is, is um, uh, it's got these <sighs> what is it called now <laughs> I'm tired um, scored <laughs> so I'm just going to when I glue it, I'm going to make sure, or I'm going to have to hold it like this to make sure that it's flat uh, when it sticks down. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue on, on the bottom of this. And then I'm just going to sit it right here like this and then just place that against there. And then I can just go ahead and flatten it out again. So when it's sitting on the on the table, it's going to be sitting with the bandana like this. Um, and when it's in the envelope, it's going to be sitting up like that. So, and there's this piece right here that also has a score line right here. So when I put it in here, um, it'll. I have to make sure that it it doesn't go past this line. So that's good right there like that. And then they've also included another piece that will go on top. And these, uh, Plaid pieces look kind of like it's in an order, so I'm going to turn this a little so that it's it doesn't look like it's uh, you know printed out in one thing. I want it to look like it's two different, uh, you know, like it's supposed to be like a knot, and it's not supposed to be in the same, uh, you know running along the same lines as, as the rest so okay now i'm going to do the uh, cheeks so i'm just going to use a little tiny bit of glue it doesn't need to have that much glue and uh i thought that it had to be in here in a certain way but it doesn't really matter and there's probably no possible way that i'm ever going to be able to figure out how that would go in there perfectly um I am missing a piece for the eye, so I'm gonna have to 
pause and go cut another piece. Unless I can, unless it's in, in the envelope and I just didn't see it. Oh, here it is. It was in the envelope. There. <laughs> and there's this piece as well. Oh, good. Someone's going to do donuts in the street. Lovely. Maybe not. Okay, so this and this are for the flower. And so we got two eyes and for some reason they're going to be, it's to me, I, I kind of think that it's gonna look cross-eyed, but it doesn't end up looking cross-eyed, so. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm not gonna use that much. It's just going to be at an, a little bit of an angle, but not that much. And then another one right here. I'm not sure if it matters how it goes on there. It probably does, but <laughs> that's fine. And then these just go on the right side of the, <laughs> he looks like um, there was an old cartoon of Little Orphan Annie and she just had white eyes. <laughs> that kind of looks like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the car is still revving its engines and driving crazy. That happens a lot here. So it's real fun when I'm watching my show and I have to turn on closed captioning so I can hear or understand what they're saying. Okay, so that looks fine. <laughs> Doesn't look crazy, not in the least. Okay, so, oh, this piece goes here. And I can go ahead and just start putting on the hair while I'm here. Um, I think I'll do the sides. And these are going to be folded down. They don't have to be glued down. It can be like, you know, loose like that. But no, it doesn't. I, I don't like it like that. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue inside here. The reason I did that is because it's supposed to be flat down. It's not supposed to be like, you know, flying in the wind. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the glue on this edge. Now this side is going to be, I can tell that it's the right side because this side is shorter and this side is longer. And the other side is the exact opposite. And then this side is folded down. And when I when I put the ink on it, I had to do it on both sides because they're folding like this. So you see the one side of this and the one side of this. So I had to uh, ink both sides, but it's barely, barely even, it's so subtle, it's barely even visible at all. I mean, I could have got a little more intense with the inking but I just I didn't I wasn't comfortable doing that so and he's missing his nose <laughs> so um, I should probably use the tweezers but it's fine I can just do it hopefully just a little tiny bit of glue is all I need And once it goes down, I can just move it around into place. It's fine. 
Okay, now the hair for the back. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because the edge is probably not going to be touching the whole thing. So I'm going to make sure that it's see how much it goes over the edge. So I'm going to make sure that I get it straight and centered by looking at this side. I'm going to do the same with, with this side. Unless you want him to have male pattern baldness, then I could just leave it off the top. Yeah, I'm going to put it on. He doesn't have to look like me. I'm going to put it like this. And then I'm just going to put it over here like this. Make sure that it's centered. Oops. On this one, I can just go ahead and fold up. And when I do that, I'm going to have to be careful because there, this is overlapping and this is overlapping. So I'm going to have to just do it like this. There. And then just press it down. Okay, now there's the box. And see what I said about the bandana sitting down like that. Okay, I'm gonna set this box to the side. And then I'm gonna put these together. I'm gonna put this in the on the other side, although it doesn't really matter. I'll just put it on the side. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to see, you're not going to see the chipboard either way, so uh, it doesn't matter. But since I folded these this way, that'll be the back. But I have to put this on the on this side anyway. This goes on both sides. When um, SVG Cuts made this and they did their video, um, they um, they embossed their uh, the, their pattern paper or the, pa the the paper that I used patterns with they actually just use a plain color a uh, solid color and then uh, embossed it but I don't have that embossed folder that they used so I just used pattern paper that I got from design bundles plus I felt like this needed more design paper uh, or patterns than it, uh, than solid because I like to have a lot more than just one different pattern on my uh, cards. So now I'm going to, I'm not going to put on, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not going to put on the rest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in there first because those are going to be sitting on the outside and they're going to be sitting on the outside of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue on here first. and then just put it inside the box. And it's just gonna go right up against the edge in the middle, or towards the end, uh, the edge, but I mean the back uh, of it, but it's gonna be in the middle and inside here. So let's do this side. Got a little bit of glue on that side, uh, inside here. That's fine. So that's pretty much that. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this off to the side. It looks kind of funny. <laughs> so the two pieces that uh, make up the hat, um, this has a... Uh, 
score here and then this is just going to sit right up against the edge here and it's going to over it's going to overlap the hat it's not exactly the uh the same size so i'm just going to put some glue on here there's another truck or maybe it's the same one So this one is, it doesn't really matter which one goes in the front and which one goes in the back, but I'm going to just go ahead and put this one in the back. So I'm going to put this on it real quick. And then I can just go ahead and put it on here. But before I do that, I'm going to use the Zot and put the button down. Usually, I, I don't put the button down until I'm, I'm done with the whole card, but uh, since this is going right here, and I don't want to put the button on these string stringy hairs because I'm afraid that if somebody goes to pull this button off, they're going to pull off these strands. So I'm just going to put this down here and then I'm going to put the glue on here. And then right up against here, just like that. And that's just going to sit right there in the back. And that's where you're going to put your message on that white part. And then this side, it's got the, uh, I guess you'd call this a, what do you call this? It's like a, a hat band, something. <laughs> I don't know. Don't wear hats like this, so I have no idea what they're called. And this is the a similar image that they used on the uh, that Mary used on the SVG cuts on her assembly video. It's a, a very similar pattern. So, and I happen to have that pattern, so I thought I'd just use it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on, and I'll put the flower on last. And see when this is folded closed, it'll uh, automatically, uh, it'll automatically fold flat and then you can just put it in the envelope. But when you open it up, it's going to be sitting out like that. And it looks like a hat. So now we're going to do the, uh, flower. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Cricut, uh, one of my Cricut spatula tools I'm just going to hold it up against the flower petal and just pull up on it. <clears throat> and it just folds all of the petals. And I do this to all of my uh, flower uh, patterns just to give it a little more character, to give it a little more depth. takes a little bit of time, especially when you have a lot of these and they kind of flatten out again. So I just got to, I just have to uh, fold them a little bit again, just so that they're folded. There, that's one. Yeah, they kind of flatten out when 
I do one and then I go to the next one and the one that I just did has already flattened out because of the because the way I hold press up against it with the spatula I'm really just trying to hold on to the spatula but I end up straightening the folds okay they've already gotten gone around full circle so I'm just going to fold these again with my fingers and they're not perfectly folded in the center but that's fine And I'm just going to, you know, gently flatten them out a little bit. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue in the middle of here. And then just put this flower on here like that. And then the two brown pieces, the one bigger one's going to go on the outs or the on the inside. And then the smaller one is going to go on top of that to make sure it's centered. I thought for sure that I had already um, made this for this card, <laughs> uh, but apparently I didn't. So see how it's when it's folded like that, or when I fold all the pieces, it kind of gives it a, a little more dimension. So all I do is put some glue on it right here in the middle of the back. And just place it right here. And then that's it. That's this card. This card is finished. It has all of the pieces on. It's got the button in the back. And I'm going to fold this these two pieces up. And then it's going to go into the envelope that I accidentally <laughs> finished. I I glued the, the envelope together. I wasn't thinking. And also this card, um, the envelope could have been smaller, but that's the way it was made. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do? So this uh, is another rounded, or this is a rounded... Um, envelope which makes it kind of difficult to uh, put the tape on because the tape is going to be um, well this is what's going to happen to the tape it's going to end up having this look on it but uh, I mean there's nothing really I can do I can't make them design cards that have straight edge envelope flaps <laughs> But, you know, once they, the person who sends this out to someone peels this off, then uh, sticks it down, then they're not even going to notice it. So that's the uh, Scarecrow card, and um, I, th I think it's cute. It's a brand new one from SVG Cuts in the Sweater Weather uh, set. And uh, this is perfect for Halloween. Uh, it's also good for Thanksgiving or any holiday that, you know, people have like a scarecrow. Um, so I, I, I mean, I would think that it would be Halloween, but I think Thanksgiving too, but I'm not positive. What do you think? So anyway, <laughs> this is this card and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my last video and I'll see you next time. Bye.